Hey guys and welcome to today's vlog. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make bread. So, let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. So guys, at the very beginning you get a jug um, and you fill it up with warm water. Uh, 150 mils of warm water. So. Yeah, just wait for it to go warm. So, it's gone warm. So, 150 mils. 150 mils. So. Next step. So then, with our warm water, uh, this is a tablespoon measurer, so, brown sugar, get a tablespoon of brown sugar, uh, level it out obviously, I need to take a bit off, make sure it's level, okay, and then, add it to your jug. Warm water, okay. Then after that, you get your dry yeast. Get your dry yeast. Oops, sorry, guys. Uh, get your dry yeast. Open it. And then, what you do is pour it in. And then you mix. until everything has dissolved. Next step. So once you've done that, um, you leave your jug and yeast and your sugar to rise for about 5-10 minutes. And then, you weigh the flour. And so we are going to do uh, 250 grams of strong white bread flour. So 250 grams, done. Then get your flour. Oh, wait, I forgot one thing. Don't forget your salt, guys. Do not forget your salt. Put your salt in. Then, you get your sift, and you sift it all in. So, guys, so now what you do is, you get your butter. Obviously, you have to measure it out. So, I'm going to do 20 grams of butter. So... It's not butter, it's stalk. It's margarine. There you go, that's 20 grams. So, what you now do, move the plate back. So now, add the butter. And then, what you do is, with your butter and the flour, make it like breadcrumbs, basically, like this. And then you do that until it's like breadcrumbs, so, yeah. Remember, add the oxygen, or add the, yeah, add the oxygen so that it rise, add the air to it.
So we've left the yeast to rise for about 15-20 minutes. So as you can see it's rose. So now we're going to add a little hole and then we're going to pour it in. So now like um, you've made the dough, get some olive oil and put it on where you're going to need it. So put it down like that and then then you get your dough out. Okay, then you need for five minutes. So, I've put the dough in here, and I'm going to put it in the oven. So I'm going to turn the oven on. Okay, so it's going to be about 3, 2, 1. So here we are. Um, the bread has uh, risen for, I left it longer than half an hour. I think I left it for about an hour. So here you are, it's risen. So let's get out. So now you've got your dough, you've kneaded it for another two minutes. Um, so now, if, you, if you're making a loaf, uh, you obviously grate your tin over here. Right. You grate your tin, or you grate whatever you're using. 
Okay, so, oh, there you go. So, right, I'm making two like French sticks, what are they called? French sticks, that's what they're called. And I'm gonna cut it in half. So, there you are. Just have to make it long. Okay, but it will grow and it will, yeah, stretch in size. Okay, so there's your dough. If I move the camera over to there. So there's the tin. Um, there's the dough, and I'm going to. So. Move it along a bit actually, just in case it goes up. So with a nice, go sideways and make a little cut incision into the dough. Like that. Okay, then let it rise for a couple of minutes. So I've let that rise for a couple of minutes. Now we're going to put it into the oven. So there's the dough. I'm just going to open up the oven first. And we're going to let that um, cook for about half an hour. So, they're going to be ready in three, two, one. So, there you go, guys. I've finished the bread. Um, now, all you have to do is just let it cool down for about five to ten minutes. And you can tuck into it. Yeah. Um, if you know it's cooked because... Hold on a second. If you know it's cooked because you hold it. If it sounds hollow, then you know it's cooked. Check this one. Yeah, it's cooked. So if it's hollow, it means it's cooked. Yeah. I'm not using it tonight. It's good. Because I want it back tomorrow, though. I'll bring it in the morning. The trouble is, I want to punch it all you get in. Okay. Is that a problem? No. So then guys, good luck with your bread making. Mmm, delicious. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. And remember, love the world. Quick